Hi guys, Jim from Wide Boys here. Uh, uh, recently we got asked to do a two-step remix. We haven't done one for ages. It's of a Scorcher track called Something About You. And um, we thought, wow, well, let's throw together a quick tutorial on how to make a two-step beat. So I'm going to make the beat and then later on in the next tutorial, I'm going to go through and show you how we did the whole remix. Uh, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial when we go to do the whole remix because there's a lot to get through. It's just going to be a brief overview of how we did the remix. So let's crack on with the tutorial. Um, if my CPU slows down, it's because I'm recording cameras and uh, audio and uh, lots of stuff. So the computer's having to do lots of things. So um, at the moment, I've just got some basic drum sounds. Um, we use uh, contact for a lot of our sample playback and drums. I've actually got two contacts uh, loaded at the same time. And the first one we're interested in is the one here. It's called Two Step Drums. And basically, I've just got lots of drums mapped across the keyboard. And these are kits that we've built up over the years, but generally, what we like to use, that's quite a nice one there. Quite a heavy kick drum, normally a 909 derivative. And then we'll, you want to pick two snares. You want to pick your main snare, which we call snare one, or your main snare. And we've got your second snare, which is a lot lighter. And we put that in what we call the fruity places. And I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so I'm happy with those drum sounds there. And that's our number two snare. Also, what we want is a nice, nice, nice bright hi hat, which we're going to use as our off hat. Okay, so that's our drums. Kick, main snare, little snare, which is our fruity snare, and a nice stingy, stingy hi hat. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to probably program the beat over two bars, so I'm just. I've set my left and right locators. We're using Cubase 5 for this, but the principle is very similar if you're using Logic or, or uh, um, another program. Um, and we've set up our MIDI channel there, which is set up to our contact. MIDI channel 2, which is where our drums are. Now, with Garage Beats, it, it's kind of called Garage because it comes from an old American like house music that derives from jazz, and jazz is inherently swung. So to get that swing, what we do is we use 16 triplets and that creates a very swung sound and I've got you can use 16 triplet there as opposed to 16s now let me show you the difference if I were to just quickly program a hat in on 16ths there's our hat if I just fill the screen with 16th hats. I'll play that back. You can hear it's it's a very even, straight, militant sound, which is brilliant if, you, if you're doing electro or trance or hard house or something like that. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take that grid and I'm going to use 100% swing. And you probably can't see it because, uh, but the, but these lines have moved. The, there's a gap. So where there would be two sixteenths, you will now fit three sixteenths, which is why it's called triplet. There, one, two, three. But we're only interested in this quanti in this quantization. So if I draw our hats in now. You can see it goes long, short, long, short, long, short. And that's really important. That's the main thing. If you get the quantize right, then uh, you can get a, you can do a traditional garage beat. And you can hear that now. We're running at 135, which is quite nippy. But that's the speed we decided to do the remix at. OK. So I've got the drums mapped out on the keyboard. And it's just going to be a basic two-step beat there. Two-step because it's got two kicks in the bar. And it, and there's our fruity snare. So uh, 
and I'm just going to record that over actually a two bar so we can change it up. So let's get that recorded in. And you can hear that swungness. And you can see that the little fruity snare has landed just, just in front of where the normal kick would land. And that's why Ed and I have always called it a fruity snare. And we've recorded it over two bars. So we can get some variation over the two bars. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw in a couple of kick drums. Just to get a little bit of bounce in there. Very subtle, turn the volume down there of the kicks. So it's a very subtle. I might not even do it there, I might pick another place for that second kick. There we go. And that's our basic beat there, so I'm just gonna I forgot to say earlier actually that um, when you pick a a two-step snare, traditional two-step snares are quite pitched up, quite aggressive as well. Don't be afraid to like put a bit of distortion or a bit of 8-bit on one of the snares and then resample it back in so you've got your full kit across the keyboard. So you can play it live then, it gives it a better feel. Okay. And then we've got our stinging hi-hat and I'm just gonna plunk that in on the offs. And you can see there that the hi-hat has landed on the offs. I've left the velocities loose because it gives it a nice little feel. And then what I'm gonna do is just add a few more. Just in the what we call the fruity places. Just to get that nice accent in and that nice rolling. Let's name that hi-hat. And let's copy that. And then just at the end here, at the end of every four, I'm just gonna loop it around the last bar. And let's make a little fill, make it interesting. Let's draw a bunch of kicks in. And let's have them getting louder. And then let's just have a little snare fill all in the fruity places. And because we've set up our quantize with this 16th triplet, I've got 100% written here. That's my own template. You can do the same with 16 triplet. Because we've set up that quantize, everything that we program in lands in a nice garage. Okay, and let's just, I'm just using my ears now. Let's turn up that kick a little bit for that roll. And let's, let's stop a couple of those hats while that roll's happening. There's no rules really, whatever sounds good. Excellent, and there you go. There's our garage beat, simple. Doesn't have to be complicated. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna develop that beat and show you how we did the whole remix. So um, load up your computer, start writing some garage beats.